All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G, and look what we're gonna be taking a look at today. We're gonna be looking at this Spider-Man, Spider-Man versus Octbot, and it is so cool. This is the Bend and Flex series from these Marvel superheroes, and we have actually quite a few of these that we haven't opened yet, and I'm thinking about opening them this week, finally. We've opened some of the Avengers ones, but not the Spider-Man series ones, and we have like Venom and Miles and so on but um, let's start with this I'm excited because the new spider-man movie drops this week and what better way to celebrate than taking a look at some awesome collectibles that we have of spider-man so you're not gonna want to miss this this is what the box looks like we're gonna take a deeper look guys but before we get started if you're not already subscribed to our channel please hit the subscribe button below hit the notification bell next to it to get notified every time we have a new video come out talk to us in the comments we'd love to hear from you let us know what you think of these action figures Man, I wish it came with this one too, because I don't think I have this Dr. Octopus. It comes with these two. But um, yeah, and let us know what you think. Give us a big thumbs up if you like Spider-Man. Oop, <laughs> I almost dropped the camera. And um, if you like these. So, what do you say we go ahead and get started right now? What is up, Vincent GG? Vincent GG, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. GG. Vincent GG from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent GG on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. On Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, friends, welcome back. So let's dive on in and take a look at these action figures. Look at this, plastic-free packaging, except tape and glue. What it advertises right there on this Hasbro action figure set. Look at this, Spider-Man versus Ackbot. And it has this that we can shoot out right here, which would be this part right here, this piece. And it looks like we have two projectile missiles. I'm like, where are my scissors? Give me a second. Okay, and here we are. So, um, here is our Spider-Man right here. I'm sure you've seen this before. Uh, I believe I got this. No, I'm sure I got this at Walmart. I'm certain. And I don't know if they sell it anywhere else. I'm sure you could probably find it elsewhere, like online or something. But um, the only place I've seen it so far is at Walmart. And it was not cheap. I'm going to be honest. I think it was more than $40. And that's quite a bit for this. It may have been exactly 40. I, I don't remember. I'm sorry off the top of my head because I got it a few weeks ago. But um, I remember thinking that's not that cheap considering this action figure by itself is probably like less than $10, maybe $9, $10. And this, um, anyway, let's take a look and see what exactly comes in here and that we have an idea because this looks really really cool let's get our spider-man out here you know what before i i do that let me just see if there's anything else we can find here there's no write up back here nothing else okay we have a cool action pose that we got going on showing us how to use um the different uh, arms right here for the Akbot. and so these claws clearly open this little buzz saw looks like it spins right there and I guess it's showing us how to close that and then this fires off so and this is actually a really cool mold right here of this action figure right here so let's get our spider-man out hey come on scissors yeah no it didn't cut still <laughs> well that's what I get for using these safety scissors I guess oh look at that it was attached and there we go. So that was easy enough. There's our Spider-Man. And uh, there we are. We'll pose him in just a moment. Let's get our Dr. Octopus robot out. Let me use the other ones. These are just not working. Yeah, much better. Much better. There we go. 
how many more ties we have here. Now the only unfortunate part, well I guess not unfortunate because it's this, but on action figures that I really enjoy collecting, I do keep the packaging, so um, it being able to not just be a back, a cardboard back, helps me to be able to preserve it and keep it from getting messed up or busted or losing the pieces. But this one's not a not as elaborate as something else, maybe. Like for example, Marvel Legends with accessories, those for sure. And it'd be nice if Transformers came uh, came with something to be able to hold them in place. But um, anyway, that's another conversation for another day. Just letting you know what my thoughts are. And this is actually really cool already. It's feeling pretty solid as well. And let's get this open. I'm like, how is this in here? Sorry, I could have just peeled it, but... Uh, I see. It's folded back on itself. Let's just cut that. There we are, let's just tear it open. There we go. Okay. So let's get closer and let's look at our Spider-Man. Spider-Man, if you'll notice, he's not really a bright red. He's more of like a, I don't know, like a raspberry color. So, like a darker raspberry. But um, let's see, we have a joint right here at the waist, and which he can rotate and turn pretty well. Um, you wouldn't think that he would hold it because it's uh, his pose because it's like a little flimsier than you would think, but it does stay. All right, let's see about the head. The head turns and slightly moves left and right, but um, goes all the way around, but it doesn't really go far back forward. It goes about that much. Now, as far as these wire arms, let's see how much we can get. Obviously, they'll go all the way around, but how well do they keep the pose? There we go, looks like we can get them straight out pretty well. Side, what about back? So they do hold the pose pretty well. Now as far as the legs, look at that. Oh, pops this way, stop. So the legs clearly pose pretty decently as well. Look at that, could be a break dancing right there. All right, let's see his arms. Again, this red is definitely darker, starting to head more toward a, a burgundy color than, than a red. His hands are blue with this version of the suit that they made for him. And then I'm like, what can we fit in here? And have that coming out. And this also stands for some of the other action figures that we, that we have. So we'd be able to have him like posed standing like that, perhaps. Or the blast one. Let's see the legs. Can turn them a little bit as far as them keeping their, their pose. Here's the sculpt. There we go. And then again, we do have the feet like this because um, we have this so we can pose him on one of those stands, perhaps. Let's see if I actually have one. Because I'm like, the pose that we have here shows him going like this and then him bending his knee with the leg up. So let's see about that. Let's see. He does have his hand in the air like that, so. Let's see. Try to bring that a little bit more forward. There we go. That works. Okay. Let's just get a closer look right here. Look at that. Sorry. Sneezing. <laughs> okay. Now let's take a look at our Aquabot. Set our Spider-Man aside. 
This is actually pretty neat. Ooh, I just keep rolling around on me. Look at this. I'm digging the way the head and the face look of this robot. The neck doesn't move, the head doesn't move. Um, yet the face still looks pretty fierce. Look at that. Would be the green eyes. This visor right here. Doesn't open, doesn't come off. I wish it did, because that would be cool. But nonetheless, look at his armor. I'm definitely loving the mold and how it doesn't look like it serves any real purpose other than a shield. But pretty good sculpt going on here. We do have these deep holes where it's clearly screws. And let's see, does the waist turn? It does not. This whole section right here looks really solid. Now, as far, oh great! So it does turn right here, which would be the shoulder. So it only turns around like a clock. However, it does allow for some pretty decent posing with bringing the other arm forward. Look at that. Okay, so that's cool. Now as far as the legs, at the hip, they do rotate back and forth here. Um, now as far as them going out a little bit, I don't know if that's intentional or just kind of play in the joints, but um, it doesn't really hold that. It kind of just stays right about there. And as far as him standing on his own, he does stand on his own pretty decently. You have to lean them forward a little bit if you're going to lean um, the arms out in certain ways. Maybe back a little bit depending on how you pose them. But that's pretty cool. And as far as these arms right here, looks like there's a wire in this one. So we're able to hold, for the most part, some of the pose. What about this one here? There is a very short one in there. So, um, can still sort of hold the pose. Uh, I think it's the same thing with these two. I'm like, okay, this one doesn't turn to move. And then we have this one here. Now, there's no knee joint. Um, there is an ankle joint because it is able to turn and kind of flex and point slightly. There's a um, little spot here at the bottom. So we'll push this in. Now, interestingly enough, ugh, I can't get these to not stop. There you go. Our Spider-Man looks like the mold is from 2019 version. Set it right here. It was packaged here, but this one does say 2021. So we have a brand new mold there for our Aquabot. And let's take a closer look at his arms right here. We have this buzz saw which Turns pretty smooth, look at that. And looks really cool. Over here, press this button, this claw opens and closes. Uh, this one does not move, so unfortunate that we can't do it on both, but um, still looks cool, especially with that see-through yellow plastic. That. And then, the moment you've all been waiting for is how well does this shoot out? Okay, so let me zoom out of here. And here we go. Press this here. Wow, it did shoot a little bit stronger than I anticipated. You can hear there's a little bit of force when it comes flying out. Let's see. Shoot this from about mm, two feet away. How about three feet? Let's try roughly three feet. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's already come down, but it's still reached that way. So depending on how you aim it, it still comes out pretty well. Here's the sculpt, which looks cool. And then, um, yeah, overall looks pretty outstanding. I, it really caught my eye how cool this looked. And then there's several pegs on here. Like there's one here, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like there's six total pegs. Why is that significant? Because uh, you can have Spider-Man posed fighting him like that. So that's not 
perhaps the pose specifically we're looking for at this second. But you can place those in here. So look at that. That, for example, is when we start moving the pose around, a cool way of having them interact. And again, being able to pose is super cool. So there we go. And you'll see that looks cool. You can kind of move this like this. And maybe we can get a cool shot right there. Look at that. What are your thoughts? That looks pretty outstanding. So, guys, what do you think? I'm gonna take a couple of pictures in a moment and um, then wrap this up. But what are your thoughts on this brand new Spider-Man versus Aquabot set? Oh, and here's one more pose that I'm actually kind of proud of. We got the leg right there on the peg on that arm of Spider-Man. I'm about to fire off some web right in the face of this bot. And there you go. And I'm in midair. So, hope you enjoy that one. Let's get this real cool, like, 180 going on here. So I definitely wanted to show that. Let me know what you think in the comments. And again, the new Spider-Man movie comes out this week. I'm super hyped about it. And uh, whoever sees it first, me, you, whatever, no spoilers. No spoilers. So I definitely want to be cheering and surprised by all the great stuff that's in store. I'm sure you do too. So guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of these action figures and what you think of Spider-Man. And check out our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. So, until next time, friends. Thanks for hanging out with us here. I'm Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.